early spring here in North Bay, Ontario. And I'm on the prowl. I've been waiting five long months for our Canadian winter to play itself out. But I'm not the only one on the move. I have a date with some fishy friends, and I hope they're on time. Of all the fish species in Lake Nipissing, the northern pike represents the early bird in my books. When pike are heard thrashing in the shallows, you know spring has sprung. Yes, I'm an avid musky hunter, but these green marsh torpedoes are simply not to be denied. Watching them is my way of kickstarting the new season. Let me show you what I mean. Well, here we are, it's April 23rd, 2011. And we've got beautiful sunny weather here. It's about 16 degrees Celsius outside. This is the first day we've had like this this spring. And every year this time, I do my favorite thing, which is go out on the water and try and see those spawning fish as they come into the shallows. We're gonna try and see some pike in about 18 inches of water. I'm gonna try and film them. The water out in the main lake's about 35 degrees, it's still really cold, but with this heat, some of the back bays get up as high right now as about 50, 50, 51 degrees, and that would be perfect, because apparently the pike start spawning at about 49, so we should see them pretty active today. We're gonna look for smokers. That's when you see them about five feet ahead of the boat, and they spook, and they take off, and they leave a little trail of smoke and mud behind them. And uh, I can hardly wait. Come on along, let's see what we can find. Okay, we're getting a little shallow. So I'm gonna let the electric motor take over. This is such a delicate balance here in the shallows. If we didn't have the sun and it was down to almost freezing last night, that shallow water will drop in temperature really fast and the pike will either just sit on the bottom motionless or they'll actually go back to the main lake. So let's see if, it, if the sun that we had earlier today drew anything in here. These polarized glasses really help me see. But I'm going to do one other thing here too that's going to help not spook these fish. Some people think I'm excessive doing this, but I always bring camouflage clothing. My sky blue windbreaker. I really think it makes a difference. I wouldn't be surprised if we see something right in here. See that? See it moving? See that? They're right there. See it? Another one over there. See, if we sit here long enough, one will probably swim right out here to us. And that's when I want to have this GoPro ready. When pike first enter the shallows, they're still sluggish from the cold water of the main lake. This allows me the opportunity to get up real close and personal with them. However, in a few days time, if the water temperature continues to climb, these big pike will become skittish and virtually unapproachable. Timing here is everything. He's not even moving. Even, I'm almost touching him. I might be too close to him. Watch, look at him, he, look at, I'm touching him. There's two of them there. See where I'm pointing? If I took a shot, I'd shoot them right there. These pike spent much of their time resting in between rigorous spawning activity. Patience and stealth allowed me to approach them this closely. There are many more resting pike here, though, than meets the eye. They were everywhere. That's a big female with another male right beside her. They won't even... Look at her. Look at the size of her. The fish we just saw were probably 40 inches, big, fat females. This is the only time of year that you're gonna see fish like this until the fall. 
Otherwise, these great big females, after they're done here, they just go down into the deep water and they feed on ciscos all year. You never see them. So this is a really special time. And they're all over the place here. It's incredible. Let's see some more. The active spawners were too shallow for me to reach with my camera. We're talking six inches of water here. This is what they see. They see this above them. This isn't good. It just move slowly. It's interesting to note that these pike are the first of several different species to spawn in this particular area. Their offspring will develop first, just in time to prey on everything else hatching around them. This includes bass, catfish, and even muskies. In fact, lakes that contain both pike and muskies will see the muskies spawn twice during the spring to increase the survival rate of their young against pike predation. I think the angle of the camera is good. I'm going to do one more with a higher angle. Cool. <laughs> springtime and do this you'll appreciate them so much more you'll probably throw a few more of them back during the season just knowing what they go through here beautiful animals let's preserve them and enjoy them this is so perfect for them though it's exactly what they like okay i'm gonna have to push off back here That was so much fun. You know, I look forward to that every year. It's my favorite thing to do. Springtime, going back in the shallows and seeing those big pike spawning. It does my heart good to see them coming back year in and year out in numbers, good size, healthy, healthy fish. Join me again here on Lake Nipissing for another adventure. We'll see you then.